I've been seeing this type of phone charging stand pop up a lot. They're all made of metal and I like the style so I decided I would try making one out of wood. I headed to the home improvement store and picked up a two feet long piece of half inch red oak for about four dollars. The dimensions will vary based on your phone but these are the dimensions for an iPhone 7. I cut a five inch long base piece on my miter saw. Then I stood the board up to make a 15 degree miter cut. This piece will sit at the back of the base and angle forward towards the front. After that, I set my miter saw to 60 degrees in order to make the second cut on the back piece. The opposing 60 degree angle for the top of the front piece is also made by this cut. You can just set your miter saw to 45 degrees and slide the board down to make the bottom cut of the front piece. This cut will also make the opposing cut for the portion of the stand where the phone will rest. The size of this next piece will depend on the depth of your phone. I normally use a life proof case so the depth is based off of that but it really doesn't matter as long as your phone fits in the stand. The last piece is a front portion of the resting piece to keep the phone on the stand. I cut that to about an inch. Here's a layout of what the stand will look like after gluing. The angles are 15, 60, and 45 degrees. The front portion of the resting piece is not mitered. You can make both these angles 45 degrees, but I don't remember why I didn't. I found the center of the back piece for drilling out a hole with a one and a quarter inch forcer bit to allow the charging cable to pass through the back. I wasn't sure how to clamp all these weird angles, so I used painter's tape to hold everything together and gravity to apply pressure. It's not going to hold much weight, so not a lot of pressure should be needed. The resting pieces need a slot to allow the charging cable to reach the bottom of the phone. I measured an inch and a half on the two smaller resting pieces and cut them using a coping saw. These pieces were joined with super glue because it dries faster and I wasn't sure how well the tape would work on such small pieces. After the glue finished drying and I took everything apart, I realized I should have sanded everything before gluing. So, I just sanded down the miters. It was pretty smooth already, so it didn't make much of a difference. For finishing, I used one coat of Danish oil. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And I think it looks good sitting on my desk. Links to everything in this video are in the description, so check those out. Also, I have an extra RZ desk mask that is too small and I never used, and I'll be setting up a giveaway in an upcoming video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. You can also check out some of my other videos.